And we are back. This is Conrad's Corner, your host, Conrad Wilton. Of course, it's a pleasure to be with you, ladies and gentlemen. Conrad's Corner is brought to you by KXSC 1560 AM or online, a service of the University of Southern California, USC's only news radio talk show. We've got 18 minutes, my favorite number. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Remember that. My birthday is September 18. That's why 18 is my favorite number. And 18 minutes exactly left in this show. This is the last Conrad's Corner of 2010. How far have we come? Well, let's see. We started off. We started off October 26th. We began, that was the Tuesday after the big Obama visit. He came to speak. Boxer came to speak. Also had Via Ragosa, who came to speak. They all, and Jerry Brown, of course, our, our now current governor, all came to speak. Big event. We talked about Obama's here. Should we cheer? We had Sammy Goldenberg. First, Jonathan Brebner here in a constructive, long, 40-minute debate that was really insightful, a lot of fun, turned into a shouting match, but stayed respectful, stayed constructive, and we learned a lot about where we stand here at USC, bringing both of the views, political ideologies here together. That was a good way to start things off. Then we followed that up with Vincent Vigil, the LGBT leader, to discuss the issues of the six or so suicides of the LGBT community members and the youth talk about the whole movement. October was coming out month, and we had a nice interview with Mr. Vigil. Our third, and that's actually, that was our second show. After that, we really hit the nail on the head. We had Dr. Arthur C. Bartner, who, by the way, he came in, he promoted his book, The Man on the Ladder, and it was really a wonderful book. By the way, I read it from front to back. Outstanding. You Incredible. Just to read about this guy who has been a part of something for 40 years. 40 long, yet 40 short. But I will say 40 very, very productive years. A brilliant band director. An outstanding leader. I highly recommend it. The Man on the Ladder can't plug it enough on this show. Please, if you have any interest in music or in band or in being dedicated to something or someone for 40 or so years, then please pick up this book, The Man on the Ladder. It's only about 50 or so dollars at the USC bookstore. It's priceless. I told them that in an email, and I really had a good time interviewing him. It was really outstanding. And by the way, he has the most views on YouTube. And what, don't forget, Conrad's Corner is on YouTube. Don't forget that, ladies and gentlemen. You can plug Conrad's Corner into the search box on YouTube or even on Google, and you'll find it. On Google, it's a few links down. On YouTube, it comes right on up. You can see, I think it's about 25 or so videos now of Conrad's Corner. So please do so. Take a look. We've got, if you missed any of the previous shows, please. They were really quite productive, really quite insightful. And I usually post the interviews that I have with individuals that are that, that come in and really make this show better. They better the show. And if you want to better the show, then dial 213-545-1560. I think one of the things, well, let's finish the recap first, then we're going to talk about the future, because I was going to get into what we're going to be doing in January and things like that. And I'm going to ask a lot from you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to need you guys to call in. That's a whole other story. Hold on, folks. We've got Elizabeth Jordan after the Dr. Arthur C. Bartner. And Elizabeth Jordan was on the same show as Bartner. She came in in the first half. Bartner came in in the second half. And she shared a very heartwarming story and a very heroic story of how a college student donated bone marrow. That's herself, Elizabeth Jordan. At the time, at least she was, she was in college, donated. She was in San Diego, donated bone marrow, saved a 46-year-old mother and wife's and daughter's life to be honest with you. And really quite a wonderful story. I highly recommend plug in Conrad's Corner, Elizabeth Jordan. Hear it. It was really quite heartwarming. Wonderful story for the holidays. Truly wonderful. She had this bone marrow drive and everything went well. The number of people signing up is increasing and the matches, they even found a match, which means that there's a possibility that another USC student can actually save a life of, uh, of someone in need, in dire need. After Elizabeth Jordan, we had the Tri-Delta interview, speaking of folks that are really doing well in the philanthropy things in life. These Tri-Delta, KK Shaw and Sam Mead and their entire sorority did this Fat Talk Free Week that promoted self-esteem and girls on the road. 
That was a lot of fun. You can check that one out. Only about nine or so made an interview, but we really got the job done. Hit the nail on the head. After that, we had USC Theater, Too Clever by Half. I saw the production. Cabaret was good, by the way. So maybe next semester you can go and see some of these wonderful plays. They really put their hearts out there, and they put it all on the line for you. They really do. We talked with Ephraim Constant, who was the lead actress in Too Clever by Half, and also Sarah Steinman, who was a stage decorator. And we really got an insight with Steinman about what happens behind the scenes. Really, both interviews are outstanding. Everything's outstanding when it comes to Conrad's Corner. <laughs> and you really should take a look at that. Of course, we brought in J.K. McKay, Pat Hayden's right-hand man, the associate athletic director here at USC. He talked about the brand new athletic complex and sports and things like that. That was really quite nice. And also, at the end of the show, we spoke with Connie Gow and Joe Dal Chung about the USC Cage Free Movement. Whether USC will change the cage free, we're talking about buying eggs from cage free farms, which treat hens humanely, instead of buying eggs from battery cage farms, which are proven to be less healthy, but less expensive. And of course, today we have Professor Dan Durbin come on and talk about the sports media relationship and the event that was very successful that he had. So like I said before the break, 13 guests, thick shows, that's about an average of two guests per show. That is good. That is very good, ladies and gentlemen. And it's my pleasure to bring it to you. The only thing I wish is that you gave me a little bit more feedback. Check it out on YouTube this holiday season. You're not going to have all that much to do. It's December. There's no school. It's the last week of classes. Blow off those finals and listen to Conrad's Corner. Let me tell you something. You listen to Conrad's Corner, you learn more than if you read your silly astronomy book at the end of the day. Oh, yes, indeed, indeed. 